Good day, learners! Welcome to school year 2021-2022. This lesson will help you to discover and understand the properties of materials a learner uses. Properties are distinctive characteristics that describe an object or material. These properties of materials determine their uses and importance. These properties may be observed directly or indirectly. Now, I want you to go to your kitchen. Observe the materials found in the kitchen. Can you name some materials? Look at the picture. Can you tell the uses of each materials found in the kitchen? Each materials have their own characteristics which tell about their properties. You can classify them based on their shared qualities and properties like texture, color, and hardness. These are called physical properties. Let's observe teapot, plates, cups, and saucers. What characteristics do they share in common? If you say they are made up of ceramics, you are right. Its property shows that it is hard, rigid, waterproof, and resistant to heat. These properties make them a good material for holding hot liquids. There are also some plates, cups, and saucers that are made from plastics. Plastics are also durable, but once it is deformed, the deformation remains. They are also durable. Durability is the ability of the materials to withstand wear, pressure, or damage. Unlike plastic materials, rubber bands are elastic. When force is applied on it, it returns to its original size and shape after the force is removed. This property is elasticity. Rubber is durable elastic, and can resist heat. This makes rubber an excellent material in making tires for land vehicles. Try to help your mother scrub the steel sink using steel wool or wire sponge. The sink and steel wool are made up of stainless steel. They are important because the sink is used to hold water when you wash things. They are also tough, easy to clean, and strong. Some materials like fork, spoon, and knife are also made from stainless steel. You may cook rice in an aluminum pot or in a rice cooker. Aluminum is used in making cookwares like kettle, rice cooker, casserole, and frying pan because it is a good thermal conductor, does not rust, and has light weight. These properties are important for everyday use in cooking foods. Your prior knowledge about the characteristics of solid, liquid, and gas will help you determine their properties and uses in your everyday life. You can describe a metal kettle by saying that it is strong and durable. A metal is also malleable. This property 
Malleability means that a metal can be hammered and formed into sheets which can be used for a variety of different purposes. The performance of some solid materials considers their response to external forces. Hardness is a measure on the amount of force that an object can withstand. Tough materials like black of wood will not break easily in contrast to materials that are brittle like eggshells. Plastics are flexible, durable, and resilient. That's why they are good materials for storage containers. But they are extremely resistant that they persist for hundreds of years. Do you know that plastic water bottle can persist for 450 years and disposable diapers for 500 years? Some materials found at home like the power cord of the rice cooker or extension wires are made from copper wires. These materials are good conductors of electricity. The electrical conductivity is the ability of metals to conduct heat and electricity. Hard materials like woods can be used to make tables, chairs, and walls of the house. They are also durable and tough. Let's come now to the useful and harmful materials at home. Some materials found at home can either be useful or harmful because of their physical and chemical properties depending on how the materials are used. Chemical properties are observed indirectly and become evident only when the material undergoes a chemical reaction or chemical change. They have harmful effects on people, animals, plants, and in the environment if they are not used properly. Soaps, detergents, rubbing alcohol, and bleaching substances are good cleaning agents and antiseptics. Medicines, vitamins, and minerals are very useful for your health and maintain immunity against some diseases. But if the medicines are not taken in proper dosage, they may harm your health. Excessive intake of soft drinks, processed foods like hot dogs, sweet and salty foods like ice creams and noodles are harmful to your health. They can cause poor nutrition and imbalance of nutrients in the body. Examine the label of sardines and noodles. The label shows presence of soju. Salt or sodium chloride is common in processed foods. If taken in excess, this may accumulate in your organs and may damage your kidney. LPG or liquefied petroleum gas or simply propane or butane is a flammable mixture of hydrocarbon gases used as a fuel in heating appliances and vehicles. However, an extra care and assistance from elders are required when you open it because it may cause fire. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye!